Hello, and thank you for joining me today. In this video, I am going to briefly show you an important thing to keep in mind as the first person from your group to complete your registration for a group project uh, in a Connecticut History Day regional contest. So you've gone through and completed the standard registration steps uh, that I've shown in the previous video, but right now I'm going to highlight something very important that is your responsibility as the first person from your group to complete this process. You will see here I am on that final page confirming that my account has been created. Here is the information on my account. Here is information about my registration fee invoice. And down here is information for my project and the contest I will be attending. You'll see right here that I have a project key, which is this long series of letters, numbers, and dashes, and I have this link down here. I have to share this information with my team members so that they can complete their registration and get all of our accounts linked onto the same project, which is important for the judges to know who participated on that project to ensure that all group members are receiving credit for having worked on this project uh, mm -hmm. when they come to the regional contest. So what I'm going to do is go and check my email because I've received a lot of this information in an email from ZFairs at this point. You'll see right here it's the same no reply as had sent us the uh, confirm email address message as well. This one says registration complete. And I'll see here it's it's including the same information I had before, but right down here is this text. And I am just going to copy this over. I'm going to compose a new email and I am going to put it right in there. And now I have this information and I can type into the recipients on this email all of my group members email addresses so they can follow the steps in the next video on how they can complete their registration for our group project. Now remember, you can have between two and five students working on a History Day group project. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this has been helpful and happy History Day.